Well, I don't think there are many people that enjoy the inconvenience of being without power. So I grabbed a few things that we could all use to help make the day a little bit better. First thing first, you're gonna need a source of light. So make sure you got a working flashlight and a fresh <laughs> set of batteries. A few candles wouldn't hurt either. Just make sure they aren't left unattended. And it'll be a real bummer if you try lighting a candle and you don't have a lighter or matches. So make sure you pick up a couple of those too. Next, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you got plenty of water. It's my least favorite part of living on the third floor. Also, you're gonna to wanna to make sure your pantry is fully stocked with non-perishables that you won't get tired of eating. Without power, it's most likely going to cool off quickly inside, so make sure you got enough blankets for everyone. Thanks, Mom. If the blankets aren't getting the job done, it's time to go in the closet, layer up. And if you have an extra comforter, it's about time you break it on out. And after you make all your store runs, make sure you gas up your car. You're gonna need it for a couple reasons. And make sure all your electronic devices are charged up too. And if things get real bad, the car is always a great source of heat. Plus, you can always charge up. <laughs> I know the forecast is all doom and gloom, but I just had a few tips to try to help you guys out. Big shout out to my mom for being my photog there. <laughs> I know, as we prepare for this weekend, make sure you join us on Facebook. Come holler at us in the chat section. We're there having fun, having a great time. There's no Chad. 